President Duterte welcomes the Indian President Kovind in Malacanang. Two earthquakes strike in Mindanao in just two days. Killer Typhoon Aguilis strikes in Japan. K-pop star Sully found dead in her home in South Korea. A tropical depression perla is moving off northern Luzon. Doubling passenger capacity for MRT3 by 2021. Voice Avenue to perform in Manila again in Valentine's Celebration 2020. Good afternoon, Philippines. Today is October 19, 2019. I'm John Red Borja. And I'm Shanina Kino. And, and this, this is Justice, Justice News Philippines. Philippines. Your trusted heroes. Giving you the latest infos. For our national news, President Duterte welcomes the agent President Coven in Malacanã. Here is Celine Baldonado for the report. On Friday, President Rodrigo Duterte welcomes Indian President Ramnath Coven in Malacanã, who is in the Philippines for a five-day state visit. The 74-year-old leader who arrived on Manila on Thursday will have a bilateral meeting with Duterte and will witness the signing of arrangements covering trade and cultural and people-to-people -people engagement. The two leaders will also issue a joint statement following their meeting, which will be capped off by a state banquet. During his stay in the Philippines, COVID will also grace a business summit with Filipino and Indian traders and meet with Filipino beneficiaries of the Mahiver Philippine Foundation, a foundation that provides prosthetic legs designed by Indian sculptor Ram Chandra Sham. He will also meet with the Indian community in Taguig City before flying come back home. Thank you, Celine. In other news, a 6.3 magnitude earthquake strikes in Mindanao. Here is Adrian Arcilla for the report. On Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m., a strong quake disturbed the people in North Cotabato and nearby provinces in Mindanao, said the people. The death toll rise to five with more injured people. After the quake, another quake with a magnitude of 5.4 struck in Davao on Thursday at exactly 5 a.m. Many houses are damaged of the towns of Davao del Sur and the two-year-old girl died after being struck by a falling object. A mother and child died when their house was buried by the landslide triggered by the earthquake. And a seven-year-old girl died when a wall collapsed, while a man suffered a heart attack as a result of a shock to the 5.3 magnitude quake. A fire broke out at a mall in Gen General Santos City right after the earthquake. There are no reports if someone get an injured due to fire. Thank you, Adrian. For our international updates, Killer Typhoon Hagibis moves in Japan. Here is Adrian Arcilla again for the report. Okay. At least 69 victims are injured, more than 190 people, after the storm with 140 miles per hour hammered in the country of Japan, bringing the heaviest winds and rains in 60 years. With the worst of Hagibis, now over the search and rescue operation has now started with more than 110,000 people taking part. 
thousands of police officers, firefighters, coast guards, and military are all trying to reach those caught up in landslide victims. An estimated of 92,000 households are still without power. A decrease from homes that are 262,000 on Sunday. Around 100, 120,000 homes are without water. It is said that the typhoon is now heading north and is expected to move back to the North Pacific later on Tuesday. K-pop star Sui found dead in her home in South Korea. Here is Pauline Barameda for the report. The 25-year-old K-pop star and actress Choi Jinri, also known as Suli, was found dead in her home in South Korea. Her manager tried to contact her via phone, but she was not answering. He also said that Suli is experiencing severe depression because of the harsh words that she gets in social media. The police are still investigating about the cause of the death of the actress. Following the four-day funeral and morning ceremony at Seoul Hospital, the coffin carrying Suli left early Thursday morning for the final burial. This was according to the people close to her. Tropical depression Perla is moving off northern Luzon. Here is Henry Andres for the report. For the weather update, tropical depression Perla is affected by a tropical storm on Friday. The State Weather Bureau says that 5 a.m. weather morning. Pegasa said that Perlo was last spotted 790 kilometers east of Basco Batanes. Also, Perlo packed maximum sustained wind speed of 65 km per hour near at the center and hasting of 80 km per hour. The tropical storm is almost stationary, Pegasa added. While no tropical cyclone warning signal is hoisted over any part of the country, Pegasa added that Batanes, Cagayan, including Babuyan Island and Apayao, may experience scattered rain shower on Saturday or Sunday. This is Henry Andres for the weather update. Doubling passenger capacity for MRT3 by 2021. Here is Lorea Almerol for the report. capacity will in, could be double in the next two years. MRT3 Director of Operations Michael Capati said that by rehabilitating its rails, upgrading its signaling system, and increasing the number of operational trains, MRT's passengers could be doubled and then increased to folds. Also, he said that they were aiming to make this possible by July of 2021. He said that from 300,000 passengers, the MRT3 passengers' capacity increased to 600,000 in the next two years once these improvements are made. To do this, MRT3 numbers of running trains to be increased to 20 from the current roster of 15 trains. Rehabilitation work also needs to be done on the rails, which will consequently reduce the travel time of passengers. As the train will increase to 60 km per hour from its current speed of 30 km per hour, he said that once these improvements are in place, the average waiting time for the MRT3 platforms will be reduced to 3.5 minutes from the current average of 7.5 minutes. Boys Avenue to perform in Manila again in Valentine's Celebration 2020. Here is Colleen Barameda again for the report. This Valentine's 2020, the boys are back. They are ready to serenade their fans with some Who Got Love songs, together with the December Avenue and I Belong to the Zoo. The selling of tickets will start on October 26 at 10 a.m. via Ticketnet's website. This is Colleen Barmeda, updated for the entertainment news. Back to you, Shani. And that's it for today's news. I'm John Bora. And I'm Shanine Aquino. The Paragon of Men. And the paradigm for justice. This, this is Justice, justice News Philippines. Philippines. Your trusted heroes. Giving you the latest info. Signing off. Yeah.